Hello people, I'm just heading off to a campsite, paid campsite, but um, I fancied a tree. I fancied camping somewhere where you don't have to look over your shoulder because you're on private land and you're not meant to be there. Um, so I'm doing a bit of glamping. Well, I'm at the campsite. Well, I used to camp was over this way, but I've got a load of static caravans in there. You see that big tree? I used to go down there and fish over there and get some nice chub, but it's all been blocked off. But I've baited up a few swims, spots in there and over there to try this evening. I'll show you the setup. The Banshee 200. I've got this one season bag just for extra warmth, just as like a cover basically. Um, what's that? Three season snug pack. The usual stuff liner, pillow, blunt mat. A bit extra today because I've got the car. So I've got blunt mat, foam mat, quarter length, and reflective film. Ground sheet. I'm just coming out of the campsite, got the office up there, got basic fishing gear. I didn't do much filming on the approach because it's quite busy in there and there's a lot of children and that. And I didn't want to really get them on camera. Um, so I leave them to it, tents all put up and everything. I'm just heading up the river. I'm a member and I've got license obviously of this um, fishing on this river. I just walked past a family with um, a bundle of corn under their arms. Pinching it from the farmer's field I guess. Oh here you go. Corn. Loads of it. There's a dam up here. This is where I caught my biggest chub. Because the uh, water is getting stirred up by the, the overflow and, and it sort of puts oxygen in the, in the water. more like it. It's quite overgrown. I think less and less people fishing. It's a shame really. I bought a fold up spade thing so I could dig out a couple of steps and a pair of shears. I caught my biggest chub. Where was it? In that corner I think. dug out some steps, just basic steps, to make it safer and easier for people to get up and down here. I very rarely come here so it's, it's more for the others but we've got a few steps now, it's not just a drop into the water. Right, let's get some fishing on. It's quite shallow here but slightly deeper over there. Today I'll be using bread and you know I've got maggots and for free offerings I've got particles like sweet corn, hemp, dead maggot and just blended up bread. I've already baked out just below me here because as you can see the water's coming in, hitting that bank and twirling round 
coming back here so it's probably a deeper bit over there and a deeper bit here I've caught my biggest chub just below here you've got a opening there then it gets really shallow like ankle deep just around the corner so I'll be fishing there there and in that quiet bit well I just caught a baby one not quite the size I was looking for but I'm happy with that just getting back That's annoying, I just lost a big perch. Another baby chub. A small perch. That's what I love about this bit of river, you just don't know where you go catch. I'm a happy bunny. Caught myself a decent chub. This is what I came down here for. And it only took a couple of hours. I achieved what I come here for. A lovely chub. Lovely chubbly. <laughs> Excellent. Well happy. Just weighed him, he's two and a half pound, not my biggest, but I'm happy. And now, to get him back, as there's a bit of a drop, I'll put him back using the landing net. Just let him rest in the net for a bit, let him settle down. Excellent. Another little perch. Took me about an hour to catch this little thing. I think that last chub I caught scared the other fish off. So I might move down the river, fish a different spot. That's annoying. Just lost a big fish. It even bent the hook open. So that was a good sized fish.
car is really hot today. Too hot. Just walking up the river, pretty much everywhere else is overgrown and in the full sun. So I'm just walking up to Bodium Castle then turn around and come back. Um, I might try that bit by the dam first thing in the morning because I think that bigger fish has scared the other ones off. But it's all good and fun. There is another bit at the campsite which always these bleeding static caravan people. I know they sort of rent out the the land and that. But um they put the fence, they put a little fence around the caravans and you know stick them like half a mile away from the caravan, trying to take up much land as possible. And behind them there's this river. I know this is a good spot to catch the chub. There's one caravan, he's put a big fence all around his caravan and down to the river, sort of claiming it's his, but it ain't. Another campsite over there, they use these like little huts. There's one of the huts, there's a couple more in there. It's like a little miniature house, <laughs> it's like a little caravan, but a hut. I'm at the end by the bridge but they've got a fishing match on so I can't fish here so I had to head back been catching a load of these little ones these baby ones not quite what I wanted but been having fun catching them and another little one Six o'clock, and I'll go get dinner on the go. I was going to use my wood gas stove, but can't be bothered. I'm having chili wedges and pre cooked chicken. had dinner so I thought I'd come down here for a bit of fishing I was here what two minutes and I caught myself another chub excellent this one's probably about a pound pound and a half I gave a good fight Managed to get the fire on the go, use a bit of cardboard and cheating using a lighter. Got a heat shield thing there to reflect the heat, does the job.
Good morning, campers. It's about twenty past seven. I had a right night's sleep, got a bit cold, early hours, but it was alright. I'll just go have a coffee and probably a cereal bar and then go down the river for a little bit more fishing, then back home. Old um, pill box. I guess I had a gun on there, aiming out there. Kind of cool. Just come down here for a spot of fishing. I've got a couple hours before I had to go, so I'll try here and then further upstream. It's made me think, um, I've got mixed feelings about these paid campsites. I definitely had a better night's sleep, I was definitely more relaxed. And not so rushed, which is good. But I don't like paying the, the money to camp. This place is um, ten pound. Ten pound to sit on the field for the night. I know they got insurance and they think they've got their own bills to pay, but after camping wild. It, <laughs> it feels a bit of a kick in the teeth having to pay for it, but definitely more relaxed, definitely more chilled out. It's a nice treat, I guess. I come in mainly for this river, for the chub. Managed to catch a roach, a little one. Moved up river, just found this big opening. I think it's still on the campsite. There's a little field next to it. Looks pretty good. Come back down here, my favourite spot over there. A nice start to the day, a small one, but Still a catch. Just getting back. They're getting smaller. <laughs> Tiddler.
leaving the campsite now. I had a good time. It was a nice treat. Good fishing, good camping. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, cheers. Bye.